Okay, back in the shack again. I'm uh, checking out a weather satellite. It's uh, NOAA 15. This is what it sounds like. We've got an image coming up on the screen. I'll show it in a bit. Just getting a better signal on it. Got to keep an eye on its position. 240 degrees, coming up, 13 elevation. And I'll just uh, take a screenshot at the uh, computer, see what you can see. Hopefully you're getting that okay. That's the uh, image coming through from the satellite, very slowly. We'll see how, it, how we get on in a bit. Just adjusting the frequency due to Doppler. It's moving. Not quite as fast as some satellites, so it's a little bit slower on the Doppler downlink adjustment. The family's doing well, as you can hear in the background. Just shoot up to the screen again. Hopefully you can see that okay. I'll, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit later. Got a good signal now up to S9 on the satellite. 16 degrees above the Earth, 253 degrees on the azimuth. I'll just take, let you have a quick sneak through of what's going on. So, this is the uh, software decoding. Got the uh, spectrum analyzer up to the top, and the image is coming through. The frequency readout is not quite correct, take, don't take much notice of that. And the uh, tracking soft, software at the moment I'm running is G-Predict. And the radio is the FT847, just adjust the frequency slightly and check that uh, position and elevation and back to the screen. The image is upside down due to the satellite travelling towards us. I use the um, discriminator, frequency discriminator in the middle there, just there, and that just tells me whether the satellite's on frequency. It's uh, quite a handy tool. And the image, still coming through strong. And there's the satellite. You can make it out up there. So that's how you receive a weather satellite, NOAA satellite, on VHF. The down frequency is 137620. Okay, that's how you work uh, weather satellites, NOAA satellites. Uh, there's only a couple of them active on the uh, 137 megahertz band. I think uh, NOAA 19, 15 and 17 are still pretty good for images. Quite easy really, using 5.2 Radcom software and uh, a bit of tracking software as well, which I said was G-Predict and obviously you need a, a, um, a VHF receiver, which is 847. Catch you next time, it's uh, movie night here at the 2E0 XTS 
family house, so I'll catch you later.